with 1.3 million plus downloads per week. React developers are realizing that the 10 stack query library, also known as React Query Library, is a better option to interact with your APIs than the standard use effect hook. If you use the use infinite query hook from the 10 stack library, you might have run into a situation where you experience this, where the infinite query hook runs twice on the initial page load with React. So let me explain the situation in further detail. So I have an app here that is pulling five users at a time from my database. And the reason it's pulling five users at a time is because programmatically, that is what I've set the limit to. So when I click on the load more button, I am expecting users six to 10. However, what is actually happening is that it fetches the same first five users as before. And then when I click on the button again, it'll fetch the correct order until I get to the end. So um, React Query is fetching the first five user twice. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this. For additional context, let me point you to the 10 stack query documentation. Now, currently we are looking at the guides. The guides, of course, is more verbose and it's more detailed in this description. Um, with, res with respect to the use infinite query hook, now there's also the reference, um, which obviously is, is going to be more terse. Now, a lot of people have pointed out that they follow this example here uh, locally and experience the first page, load, first page loading twice issue. So what I've done is I've copied this example verbatim. Of course, I am going to set up my own database and my API does not return a cursor, but essentially it will be the same. So if I've set up an app locally to match the example in the documentation. The exception, of course, is that I have my own local API and local database running, and I've added a limit to the fetch URL so that we can better demonstrate the issue and then try to resolve it. But everything else is exactly the same. So jumping straight to the point, you have two options here. The first option is to change the initial page param to one, and that'll work. That'll get rid of the, the loading trice issue, but I don't recommend this because we want the initial page param to actually start at zero because you know JavaScript zero index. And so longer term, that might cause an issue. But the better option, I think, is that since we are dynamically uh, providing the page param, because we are destructuring out the page param as our parameter in this fetch user method. And if you're using Axios, which you should be using because Axios is getting like 40 million downloads per week. So Axios is becoming the standard, but in the example, they're using fetch. So I'm matching the example. Anyhow, so we are since we are dynamically extrapolating and then inserting the page program in here, what we could do is that we could add a one here, which will increment the page program on the secondary clicks while keeping this configuration the same. And again, if you're using Axios, the concept is exactly the same as fetch. Okay, so back in the app, let's test our fix. Load more. Great. Now it's getting the proper users in the right sequence. 
and the loading trice issue is gone. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Bye for now.